Hello, I'm the X Toy Cat, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is a Let's Play where we're playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the console, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And some of that killing stuff uh, that I've been doing between last week's episode and this one has allowed me to get not only this lovely set of wings that I'm sure you're all jealous of, or envious of, I should say, but also uh, this dragon head, which means that I can now live the dream, you know, the dream Minecraft <laughs> costume of enchanted diamond armor with a dragon head and a litra, but in survival, which is pretty cool. But yeah, today's episode is not about my uh, uh, gear that I'm wearing today. Instead, it's going to be about a brand new transport method I want to, you know, kind of explore a bit because I feel, I feel like Elytras are a great part of this update, but as you've probably learned from my top five features video, I feel like the actual best part of this update is the brand new boats. They're just, they're so much fun to play with as well as being like kind of a weird thing, but they require a little bit of work if you want to do them in survival, which is why I figured, because, you know, I've been having a lot of fun playing survival with this update, why don't we prepare? Okay, so this is my little tower. I'm going to try and fly to where my frozen ocean is uh, just from up here. Let's see if we can do it. But yeah, basically I figured, why don't we try and like set up a, a a giant like frozen I guess I, I want to call it like a motorway but like I don't know trackway whatever you want to call it like place for boats to go fast so that I can get around my world by going around boat because the cool thing about boats is they use no hunger uh, sorry they yeah, use no yeah they use no hunger and they use no durability like wings do because you yeah, know wings are great fun but we're slowly riding down the elytra uh, however if we put a boat a book down just like this you're gonna see that we go at these insane speeds like look how ridiculously fast we're going and we're using no hunger no durability no nothing which makes it probably the best form of transport for anyone who wants to go for a bit of effort, but end up with just an amazing result. Like, look at the speeds we're, we're getting up to right here. So yeah, I've got a frozen ocean already, so it's pretty fun. Like as you can see, I'm, I'm you know I'm having quite a bit of fun here. But uh, it's not like it doesn't actually take me from anywhere in my world to anywhere else particularly. Like if I want to go from here to my uh, over there, I can kind of do it. I mean, I have to take a weird route, so it kind of loses some of the efficiency. Like I guess that's fast, but realistically, it doesn't go anywhere. So there's a couple of routes I want to kind of work out for the boat. And uh, since it's Boxing Day as I upload this video, uh, because I was expecting me home today, but like couldn't. So like it's I'm recording this on Christmas Eve because I'm going away for the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah, because it's Boxing Day as I upload this, I figured why don't we do that while we talk about some Christmasy stuff? It's just so cool to me. Like again, it feels like you know a car driving on like a ridiculous motor track, except it's a really bad car because the traction zero. But still, uh, yeah, I want to like make a pathway over to there so I can go out my old Let's Play world by like high speed. Again, boat away. Oh, that's what I'll totally call it. The boat away. Um, I think I've used that term before, but we're gonna use it again. That we're gonna we're gonna make a boat away all the way from the house to over there, but also to over where my first villages, uh, you know, the villager apartments, so that way I can kind of get around a lot of my world by boat, because, oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, you know what? let's just make new boats. We can leave that boat at the bottom of the ocean. That's entirely fine. And yeah, that's what today's episode's a little bit about, but uh, go. Oh, I started flying. That's what happened. I got a bit confused there, because, like, it knocked me back a bit. Uh, so yeah, basically, I've got some ice with me. I'm gonna have to get some more ice with uh, the silk touch tools, I think. Oh yeah, I got a brand new silk touch pickaxe from the end, so I'll, I'll use this one first, because might as well kill it. And uh, we're gonna make this happen, like, a straight pathway. All the way from there-ish, I want to say, like, not down, the, yeah, like, I'm going to say, like, across this side of the uh, the cobblestone cube, and then straight this way, so I can just kind of hit forwards and take some lefts and rights if I want to. So, for instance, stuff like this where I could fall down, we're going to patch up. I mean, we could entirely patch it up, but for now, we'll just make it, you know, non-patchy enough that we'll get through. And, oh, I'm flying into water again, that's not good. So, yeah, pro tip, you don't want to fly too much, so when you're not using this, you probably should take it off. And actually, let's do that too. Let's just be toy cat in some weird leggings. But, yeah, okay, so, uh, like I was saying, and doing. Uh, it's it's Christmas Eve as I record this and Boxing Day as I upload this, which means that it's one day from Christmas for both of us. Just different uh, that one day. And uh, I think it'd be kind of interesting to tell some Christmas stories because the thing about Christmas is to me at least is like, it is, it is like a somewhat special event in my year. Like I feel like most of them, like, you know, even, even my birthday is like, oh yeah, I, I sometimes like eat pizza. Uh, you know, like, there's no real special events, but, uh, for special events, but for some reason, Christmas has stayed at, at least, you know, somewhat special every year, and I figured, um, I'd tell some of the stories of, like, why it's been so memorable, because, honestly, some of the memories of Christmas are, like, horrendous, but they all stick with me, and I figured, why not, why not share some of them? So, the first one is, uh, like, my very first Christmas, where I got a games console, uh, because I've been playing games, uh, quite some time, like, since I was, like, four or something like that, so 17 years, if my maths is correct, uh, <laughs> I'm 21, uh, so yeah, that, that just about works out, I think. Uh, seven, 17 years, maybe a little bit longer, because there was always a game console. I just don't remember playing before four. But, you know, who knows for sure. But yeah, basically, I've, I've always been playing games of some form. But the very first year I got a, a Christmas present that was like a, a Game Boy Color, I think it was at the time, was like when I was six or seven or something. And um, just something something was so special about it. Not just the console, like, yeah, I can play the Pokemon game, because it came with Pokemon Red, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, one of the 
the two uh, earlier Pokemon games, which then became just the thing I played non-stop for a while, but as well as uh, being special because, yeah, it's it's my own console and I can play it that way, I just remember this deep feeling of, like, I, again, I, I know this is a weird thing to say and some people be like, oh, you only felt it then, but, like, perhaps one of the deepest feelings of gratitude that, like, kind of stuck with me is, like, oh, that's how it feels, because it was like, oh, wow, they don't even have to get me, you know, this thing, and, because, uh, no, it wasn't just, um... I, as well as getting a Game Boy Color, which at the time was like, wow, that's cool. I also came, it also came with like a tube of sweets or something. And I'm like, wow, they could have just got me one or two of these, one of these two things, and I'd have still been amazed. But they went out and they got both. And it was like, again, it was one of those, um, I don't know, kind of feelings of gratitude that kind of, uh, I guess I, even to this day, like it still fits in with roughly like what what makes me feel like extra. Again, a gracious is that the term? I feel like it probably is, but it seems wrong. But uh, yeah, uh, like even what, what today feels gracious, like oh yeah, there are certain things we do that you know that are nice to each other that are kind of just social obligations. So you know, it's 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 nice that you did it, but it's like you know, it's not the sort of nice that sticks you forever. But when someone goes like above and beyond, like outside the norm of like let's say you know the the event that it is or like your relationship with them to to do a nice thing for you, it's like ah, that is wonderful, isn't it? So yeah, um, the f the first thing was like. Uh, my first Christmas that I, like, truly remember and, like, just have, like, a permanent place in my heart for is, like, um, getting getting a Game Boy Color, playing Pokemon for the first time, but also getting, like, again, this is a weird thing, but, like, the, the tube of sweets or whatever it was. It was, like, fruit pastels. I don't... I don't even remember, like, if I particularly liked them or not, but it was just like, wow, the, 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 the bonus gift is what, like, blew my mind on that one. And, yeah, that is that is the first Christmas I've ever remember. The second one was, like, a, a particularly awful story, though. So, uh, yeah, we're mining ice, because I don't know where I used all my ice. I guess I must have put it all in, like, a chest up there, because I, I definitely had, like, ten stacks of it or something like that at some point, but it's all kind of gone now, so I, I guess I need to make an ice farm or something. But, yeah, let's keep on our farm the ice. Uh, but, yeah, the second Christmas I can remember was, um, so it was... I, mean, I was maybe, like, seven or eight at this time, and uh, myself and my brother... Um, who, again, but at the time would have been two years old, older than me. Uh, for some reason, there's this weird thing where, like, siblings, uh, at least older siblings, like, just hate younger siblings. Like, maybe it's, I, I can't entirely understand it, but, like, my brother had, like, a, a particularly weird thing where it was like, you know what? I'm going to go out of my way just to deny him some joy. So uh, we, it was at a local church for some reason where, like, oh, yeah, they'd arrange some games to play. Like, go find the, the Christmas... Um, you know, like, there was some, go find the Christmas stuff and, like, a Christmas party or whatever, and, um, you know, there were, like, 20 eggs around and, like, 20 people, so, logically, everyone can only, everyone goes out and gets one, right? Um, and then, for some reason, my brother went and found his while we were together, and then, um, or in fact, maybe we separated or something. But then we go back, and I'm, like, still looking for mine. And uh, he just goes to the people, like, oh, yeah, he's already found his. He's looking for another one. He's like, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, no, I totally haven't. He's like, oh, yeah, he has. And he, like, he goes through this effort to convince them that I, like, totally had one before. And they're like, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that, because then someone else is going to be this one. It's like, I bet I didn't kill. <laughs> so that, that's, like, one of those things that, like, burned me forever. Like, the again, like, uh, I feel like Christmas is the best time for emotions, because they're when, this one's the strongest, because, um... Again, maybe that's a good thing because that's that's why tradition is still celebrated. Because I I feel like tradition really is just like a thing you do until you don't, and then when you don't, it kind of seems silly that you did. Like think think about any tradition. Think about like ancient uh you know traditions from any country. Like you look at you know there's there's some pretty ridiculous ones from even the UK. But like think about a ridiculous like you know Japanese tradition. Like oh yes, I have committed a you know I I've um, done something dishonorable. I will throw a sword for my um, I think it's through the stomach. Like, it's meant to be a painful death, basically. And it's like, geez, not only are they killing themselves, but they're doing it painfully. That's kind of a silly tradition. We can all agree with that. But, like, you know, Christmas is one that, because we're all doing, we're like, yeah, this is a great tradition. It doesn't make sense, but let's stick with it. And uh, I guess it's the emotional responses, whether it's the good ones of, like, gratitude or it's the bad ones, that kind of drive it home. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Or maybe maybe my brother is just, like, an extra level of, like, awful aware. I, I don't know, again, I've heard some really awful stories of, like, what people did to their, like, siblings, and it's like, is this just happened to everyone? Do people really just, like, well, why why do you need to hate so much, each other so much? Like, something, something family, right? Which, uh, I could get down to a whole point on that one, but yeah, the, 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 the Christmas after that, I remember most fondly. Again, I feel like every single one of these is probably a games console, but, uh, it was when I woke up and, like, there was a... Oh, Still bed occupied glitch. Uh, <laughs> when I woke up and there was like a GameCube in the room, like I, I have no idea how my parents snuck it into the room because obviously, uh, spoiler alert, that's 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 how the the console got that got there. But just like waking up at, like six and like oh it's a GameCube and it came with um came with a couple of games. I think one of them was Super Mario Sunshine though. And like again another game that like just sticks in my head as like oh so much fun was had there. Uh, but yeah like um I I feel like every single time 
I, you know, this, I, I feel like, you know, when you, when you think about buying someone a gift in the moment, you're like, I just need this to be good and stuff. But there are certain gifts, which maybe is just as a child, maybe as an adult too, uh, which just stick out that extra bit. And I've always like been curious as to how you lock that down. Because if, you know, if, if you can work out what it is that makes the perfect gift, then you can be the perfect gift person, right? Like I, I'd love to be amazing at gifts and be like, yes, you, you are a, uh, um, let's make up a, a fictional person. You are a... A Dutch person who likes cigars, so I got you this, um... Well, I mean, I, I was going to come up with some, like, ridiculously obvious one, like, Oh, a cigar holder, if that's even a thing. I'm, You know, I'm just making stuff up here. Are there even people who are into cigars? Especially in, like, Dutch land. Whatever, but, but, but staying with the point, though, like, I, I feel like the, the the smartest gift is one that's not, like, immediately obvious as thoughtful. Because, you know, thoughtful gifts are amazing when you're just like, Oh, yeah, you said all the way back in January that you're, like, Digimon Andrew, so guess what? I got you this, um... Uh, I know, uh, but, but Biomon, uh, costume, or just, let's, let's make up some ridiculous story like that. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's, like, one level off, like, really nice, but I'm always, I've always been curious as to, like, the next level. And in fact, you know, this, this will sound silly, but, like, something I actually do, uh, with, like, modern Christmases is, you know, some people, you just get them gift, that's fine, but, like, with my brother, and I, I, I want to play with as many people as possible to play competitive Christmas, because, again, let's, let's admit Christmas is a silly tradition. People will look back in, like, a hundred years and say, like, so they, they took a day off work and being productive and blah, 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 blah. And they just, they, you know, it's it's nice today. But it's, it, again, there's a lot of stuff like that where you're just like, oh, that was weird in retrospective. Which uh, I know that sounds awful, but think of it this way. They're, back 500 years ago, people used to all live in one room in a house and uh, probably think it was silly when, when the second story came out. They're like, whoa, who needs a second floor? Only rich people. I don't know about you. You know, think of it that way. I mean, I know some of you live in bungalows, but... You know, there's, there's lots of stuff that seems seems like entirely logical at the time and then afterwards isn't. And, you know, given that most of our holidays vaguely go away, we're going to look at this and say that's kind of silly. Which is why I figure, you know, if it's silly anyway, if we can just admit that and say it's great and that's why we do it regardless. I, I, I'm worried I'm offending someone like on their Christmas night. It's like, no, no matter what you say, the, even, even the core idea if it's great. Which I'll admit, I, I love Christmas more than most people, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, the idea is silly. So what I like to do is competitive Christmas where you give yourself a very strict limit. Like, it has to be a limit on both sides, so make it something ridiculous like £19 to £20, or, you know, £17 to £18.50. Like, I, I always set a limit like that, and then you have to spend the entire limit. You know, you can't just throw cash in there. Uh, you gotta, you got to spend the whole thing, and you got to, like, see who has the best gift. And after you give the gifts and you, you've done the whole thing, then you get, like, a panel of friends or family or whatever to see who gave the best one, because then Christmas becomes fun again. It's not just, like... Because for a lot, I feel like most people go through a lot of stress with their Christmas presents, right? Like, uh, it's 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 like the big joke thing where like, oh, still haven't done my Christmas shopping, and it's the twenty sixth of December. I guess I've messed up, but uh, <laughs> still haven't done my Christmas shopping, and it's the you know twenty third. Like that's the joke everyone goes through, right? So it's like some amount of stress for people to shop for people. But if you make it competitive, then it's fun. You're going around, and you're like, yeah, this will totally kick kick his guy's stuff, and I don't know I. To me, maybe, maybe maybe I've got a competitive spirit that some people don't. I forgot what I'm trying to do here. I think I'm trying to throw stuff away because my inventory is too full. Oh, no, I'm trying to make boats. I was like, I'm definitely doing something, but I forgot what it was. There we go. Throw the dirt away. And let's make some boats because I, I, I brought a bunch of birch with me to make stuff. All right, actually, let's use the dark oak and make a nice, nice brand new boat. So, yeah. I mean, the birch boat would be brand new too. Still. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, like, I, I think competitive Christmas is probably the best way to do Christmas. And honestly... Sorry, um, I, I think any tradition, either keep it going, or if it looks like it's, you know, either on the way out, or, like, you get the opportunity to reinvent it, like, don't just, don't just do the same thing, go ahead and be like, yeah, well, we're gonna make it more fun, like, uh, bring some new stuff in there, like, be like, you know, in, in 20 years, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we'll use this smartphone app called santa Fi, and what it does is it, it puts, like, uh, emojis in your Christmas presents, and try, because that, that, that's how, that's how you make a modern app idea, you take something that already exists and you add emojis. So I'm thinking Christmas app that adds emojis to your gifts. I don't, I don't know why people are going to like it, but I don't understand emojis in the first place. And okay, and then you're going to be like, oh yeah, this just makes Christmas so much better. Like, I, why, how, how did people do Christmas before emoji Christmas? Or um, what did I call it? Christmas fi? So uh, yeah, that's that's my thinking here. Okay, so next place we have to take all this ice. I don't know if it will melt in the uh, in this biome, but I need to make a way through here. Oh, yeah, that's going to be tricky because this is a deliberate wall. I guess I'll just go all the way down here until I'm next to the wall, and then I'll swim under it because, again, that's the proper way to do this. So I'll just place some ice right next to the wall so I can follow it all the way down to where I need to be. And honestly, this is close enough, but just a little bit further to show that I really care and try and stuff. 
there we go. So now, in theory, I mean, uh, there's still some rough around the edges to be done. I can place my boat here, sail it along like this. I mean, this isn't really sailing. Oh, okay, so you can see, you need to... If you're going on just a single block, it doesn't work. You've got to have, like, multiple bits of it. So that can be, like, our landing strip or our breaking strip. Just over there. Let's try this again, then. So, let's say we're going along here, and we want to pull into it. But seriously, look at this speed. Like, <laughs> the speed boats go out in Minecraft is just... A ridiculous level I can't say I entirely understand. Also, let's put the head back on. There we go. This this is the dream, right? This is the dream. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, um, I, I, I feel like, um, yeah, at some point someone will just come up with some idea that makes Christmas uh, today look kind of silly. But that's that's the thing. Invent a new tradition or evolve the new one and uh, then you get some fun. But if you, if you want to believe that the way things are now is the way they'll always be, then I think there's like a billion things that will prove you wrong on that one. But maybe that's just me. Okay, so yeah, it actually works. Okay, so we've tested that side. Let's see if we can go around this side. We probably need to just add a bit more ice to make it more consistent. Because although it works right now, it's kind of like... Oh, see. See, it's kind of a tricky pathway. So I think rather than going, like, round there, I think it's better just to make a route across it. Yeah, if I could go straight forwards this whole way, that'd be way easier. So first step is to just remove this because it gets in the way. Oh, by the way, new sugar cane. That's, that's a feature in this update that you might not have known about. Oh, yeah, so it's say, staying on track. <laughs> um, so let's remove all of this stuff. Replace it with a bit more ice, just so I have, like, a bit more space to turn. I'll probably fall into it anyway. But... Oh, wait, yeah, wait. If I, as long as there's no dirt on the ground. So, in fact, okay, here's an easy way to do it. If we just place dirt there and there, then I'll still stay on the ice. And then we go over here a bit. And we need to make, like, an ice way across here. So if I just fill this entire gap in, or at least have a very wide thing here, then this whole thing... Should just about work again. There's, there's a lot of just abouts here, but that's fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I, I feel like we could do this with every tradition, though, because like Easter is kind of a silly one, like get each other chocolate eggs. Like I feel especially because one of the trends in the world that I've spotted, um, even in countries like America, which are notorious for being the other way, is like a health thing, right? Like everyone wants to be healthy because no one wants to be unhealthy. Like, well, I mean, that's that's true, right? No, no one goes out of their way and they're like, you know what? I don't like being healthy. I'd, I'd rather be... 500 pounds and morbidly obese that's that's not a thought people have like some people are okay with it and they they think it's worth the risk but no one thinks it's like the end goal at least i, I don't not, not that i know of. so um i guess we gotta remove all of this too but uh yeah so that's that's the thing right i think we can all agree on that and uh, that makes me therefore wonder if like easter will eventually go away and we'll be like well why do we just get each other chocolate eggs but why don't we make like the eggs have like smartphones on the inside there we go there's an idea or why don't we make it like regular presents but they're just wrapped up in an egg of some form. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, you can take any holiday, you can make it way better. We'd even, we could bring back, uh, like, old holidays this way and be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, April, well, actually, April Fool's Day isn't old. Uh, I think it's, like, the Chinese New Year that it's based on, though. Why don't we all dress up like Chinese? Okay, that sounds pretty bad, actually. But why don't, why don't we do that and and then uh, get each other, like, drag... Uh, add, there's, there's, idea, there's an idea in there. I think I've lost it. Add emojis. That's, okay, that's my solution. Add emojis, make the idea better. And uh, in general, so today, we haven't entirely finished this thing. Uh, I think we've done a very good job. Like, pro tip, by the way, do this in your own world. Because look at the... Sp oh. oh, it's like, yeah, we can. We actually don't need anything there. So that's something useful to know. But yeah, look at the, the speed you can get on this makes me go, you need to have one of these in your world. If you don't have one, you're doing yourself a disservice. Because not only is it fast, but it just feels cool. And it's so efficient because... Oh, let's pick up the chicken. Pick him up. Okay, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually take him into the boat. Just, oh, <laughs> the boat's going away too fast. Okay, so, good news is the chicken's sliding just as quickly. Okay, how do we get the chicken in the boat? I genuinely don't know. Do we have to, like, knock him in there? Oh, no, okay, that, that chicken went way further, I figured. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, sliding on ice is pretty darn fun. Even when you're not in the boat, it goes some pretty uh, decent distance. And because you can't break boats anymore, going these speeds is no concern. You can just spin... Ah! <laughs> go all the way around your world and it's just great like that so i hope you did enjoy this video like if you did like it because it helps out the channel a lot let's know you do like the let's play share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because i make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see those daily on your homepage. thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye <laughs>